Hi everyone, my name is Mary Jane, I'm part of the TV for Education team and we have had a question from a teacher about using smart classrooms. So they're creating a lesson and they want to be able to show the students a Shakespeare film but instead of allowing the students to view the whole film in its entirety, they want the students to be able to see a clip at a time and answer questions and have multiple clips available. So we're going to have a look today at how to do that. So when you're on the system you need to go to the menu button, click on smart classrooms and create lesson. Now you can name your lesson anything you like. Let's just say lesson one. Now in here you can put a description for the lesson, we'll just put subject that we're teaching and click save. Now you've got two options here, add a resource and add a question. The way we're going to be doing this lesson is by using slides. So to stop the students from viewing ahead where they should have been or skipping on to the next question, we're only going to show them one clip and question at a time. So first of all, we'll go add resource. We will type in Romeo because we're looking for Romeo and Juliet. Click add to lesson. Now I've added that directly from TV for Education but you can add it from my items if you have it saved in there. Now we want to click this video, so we click the clip icon, set a start point, use the open bracket to set the start point, then a close bracket to set the close point. Now if you know the exact times, you can just fill them in manually as well and we will title this clip one, create chapter. Now, I would always recommend naming your chapters something that makes sense to you because you can actually bring up a directory of all the chapters, which I'll show you how to do a little bit later so you can skip ahead during the lesson. Once you've done that, you can click save. If you wanna preview it to make sure it's correct, this is your preview button and click play. and it's gonna play that selected clip. So once again, make sure you've saved and click close. So that's your first clip there. You can then add any questions you want or additional resources to this page. So keep in mind what you see on the screen is all the students can see. So this is on that first slide. Now down here you have a slide button. So we'll click on the additional options and click new slide. We'll go add resource. It's still got that search that we previously did. So we're going to select that same video here by clicking add to lesson, clip, and this time we are going to select a section from the middle start point, then a end point, and click save. Again, before we do, I'm just going to name that chapter as clip two, create, click that save button and then close. So I can do that again for a new slide, add a resource, we'll add that same video, clip. So we're just going to find another selection, start point, then end point and click three. Click create chapter to make sure it's saved the naming of that chapter. Then click the save button and close. So now you can go back through your slides by using these navigation buttons and it's gonna show you which slide you're on. If you want to reorder them, you can definitely do that once you're done with the lesson, you can then click share to share it with your students, or you can just open it if you are using it in a presentation style. 
All right, so that's how you can use the lesson created to make a lesson easier with different slides. If you have any questions, definitely let us know. We are here to help. Thanks.